Ground control to Marv. Ground control to Marv. Calling Marv. Over. Marv, do you read me? Over. Yes, I read you, Nobby. Over. How is it looking up there, mate? Over. Well, planet Earth is blue. And there's nothing I can do. Over. Fair enough, mate. What's happening at ground control, mate? Over. Well, me and the hairy one have just had a couple of beers and the two for a tenner deal at the tap and barrel. Although it has now gone up to two for twelve quid. Over. Mate, that really pisses me off. Over. I know what you mean, mate. Last week it was a tenner. That's twenty percent. Over. That is not what I mean. You and the hairy one are out on the piss, while I am up here, floating in a most peculiar way, not really knowing why. Over. Ah, I see what you mean. Well, what happened was, the hairy one decided that, seeing as we don't do photo shoots, studio recordings or press interviews, that we should publicize ourselves with some death-defying stunts. Over. Well, I can see his point. But why have I ended up, sitting in a Tinkin? Far above the world. Over. Sorry, did you say Tinkin then? What is a Tinkin? A tin. Can. Oh right mate. Anyway the hairy one decided. That you were the most expendable one. Over. That's bollocks. I am what the people want. I can't see you pair of growlers, singing all the anthems that I sing. Over. The hairy one has got it covered. He has used the band Kitty to ensure you. In the unlikely event of you coming to harm, we can afford to get that Sheila E. Bird, who used to play with Prince. She's fit as fuck. Over. Unbelievable. But what is the plan here, mate? The plan is that you get up to a record altitude and jam. If we are lucky, you will parachute down through an open window, and land on your drum stool, just in time for when I say, it's time to turn on, tune in, and cop out, to the wireless, over. Well, it does sound like a good idea, and, I will get a world record. Yes, it is another example of how nice the hairy one is to us. Yes, he is always thinking of others. So, mate, are you ready for the jump? Apparently, it takes exactly five minutes to get to the pub from your current altitude. Yes, mate. I am ready. This is one small step for the drummer of the wireless. Yeah, whatever, mate. I am going to have a piss and get a beer in for the first set while you are doing that. Ah, uh, hello, Nobby. Do you mind if I join you? It depends on what you mean, mate. Oh, only for a wee. Go on then. Fill your boots. Marv, why did you use the word, we? Well, mate. Apparently, there are a few kids who watch this. And I am worried that we have used the word piss four times now. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. Fine. What did you think of my entrance on the parachute, mate? I thought it was good. Almost close to perfection. It was a shame that you just missed your drum stool. Who would have thought that the spike on the top of your high hat would have gone up so far? I know, mate. For a minute there, I felt what it must be like to be a toffee apple. Nasty. So, what are you planning to do after we have packed the gear up? The hairy one has arranged a party to celebrate your world record. Sounds great. Yes, we are meeting Shira E and some of her friends at a posh hotel. The only problem is, there is only enough room for me and the hairy one in my Berlingo. We will see you at the next gig and tell you all about it.